All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real uh, music and real tragedy again and doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. So uh, from a patron who sent me this link and uh, courtesy of msn.com, here's the headline. Famous singer collapses in cardiac arrest. This was yesterday. Singer Michael Benjamin mysteriously collapsed and died during a performance in Paris. He was 41 years old. Let me repeat, he was 41 years old. Michael Benjamin. All right, if you don't know who, who he is, who he was, uh, you can look that up. Um, here's the cause of death. Cause of death was determined to be cardiac arrest and natural causes. All right, you know, um, a couple of years ago, I, I really wrestled with this, that this is a natural cause. And somebody told me that basically anything can be listed as a natural cause. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a coroner, okay? I'm not on scene trying to determine what the cause of death is, but it sounds weird, okay? It sounds wrong, like anything at all. Um, you know, if an anvil falls on your head, right, like the old cartoons, and you die, is that a natural cause? Because the anvil kind of slipped off a rock, um, because the rock, the formation itself broke apart, the anvil uh, fell and hit you in the head and you died. I mean, where do we draw the line when we get these cause of death notifications? Where do we say that just doesn't sound right. And for two years, I've been saying this. He's 41 years old. So cardiac arrest for a 41-year-old man who seems to be fairly healthy, right? Um, cardiac arrest is listed as a natural cause. Now, uh, they go on here. They say, witnesses say he appeared to have a seizure moments before dying. Okay, is the seizure a natural thing that's supposed to happen? Michael, who is known as Mika Ben in his home country of Haiti, was performing with his band Karami. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Karami-i? I don't know. Anyway, Haiti's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry, responded, I am devastated by the news of the sudden death of the young and very talented artist Michael Benjamin, Mika Ben. It is a great reference of Haitian music, which just passed away. I don't know if that's just a poor translation or how he actually said it. I think French is the native language, native tongue uh, in Haiti. The venue also confirmed the tragic news in a statement. Last night during the uh, Karami concert, one of the singers, Michael Benjamin uh, Mika Ben, of his artist name, died following a malaise on stage and despite the intervention of the emergency services, uh, this was shared in the French language and put out on their website. Singer Michael Durand asked everyone at the venue to leave following Mika Ben's collapse. And this is what he said, end of concert, we must evacuate the room. It's very complicated, he said. We need prayers for Mika Ben, R&B star, Wycliffe Jean said, this is a shock. All I could remember was his smile. Jean continued, this is one of the most influential and inspirational young artists of our generation. I'm in disbelief, uh, Karami singer uh, Roberto Martino said. This is somebody I was working with for years and considered a brother, a good friend. We talked almost every day. We have a chat together. So they took a poll at the end of this article from MSN. How familiar are you with the work of Haitian singer Michael Benjamin? Uh, why take a poll after the fact, you know, basically saying, ah, he's not really a big deal. We're going to have to take a poll and find out uh, how many people knew who he was. Interesting, because some pretty big names here have weighed in and have said that he was kind of a big deal. But now he's gone. And again, we're not going to ask any real serious questions here. 
Uh, I know there are a lot of people who follow me. They agree with me on a lot of the things I talk about. But when I get to this issue, they're like, you know what, Dave? I took this. I'm fine. I'm fine. And everybody I know who took this, they're fine too. Okay. Now, again, I don't even have any evidence that he did take whatever I'm talking about, right? Because I can't get too explicit here on this wonderful platform, but I can tell you this is a safe and effective product. And if you turn on the TV for about 10 minutes, um, somebody from that company who created this wonderful, safe and effective product, they're going to be on promoting some other super safe and effective product, although they do this thing toward the end where they tell you how many side effects this safe and effective product has for whatever it is it's attempting to eradicate or treat or somehow you take this and your life becomes so much better. And you know what? I have empathy for people who are looking for solutions to problems, maybe things that they've dealt with for their entire life and they would like some relief but um you're selling your soul possibly to a very demonic and disgusting organization and when i say organization uh, i don't mean just one company i mean all of them all of them i don't i just don't think these people have your best interests at heart now um somebody should do a complete investigation you have a 41 year old so if you want to just put all of those conspiracy theories to rest why wouldn't you be calling for an autopsy a full investigation here so we can just you know move on there's nothing really to see here why is everybody uh worried about how old he is they're listing natural causes so can we expect um cardiac problems I mean, they had this thing in New York City where they put out this promotional video about how kids have heart attacks and that you should be ready. And I've never seen anything like this in my entire life until very recently. It seems kind of like a CYA moment as far as the medical community goes because they're basically telling you, hey, you know, this happens to kids too. And we just want you to be alert and aware. Um, and I think they have those devices where uh, kids can get um, shocked back to life, basically. Um, kids and adults. I forget the name of the machine. It's obviously they, they, they put it on you and then they zap you to try to get your heart going again and they'll do it a number of times. Um, apparently schools in New York City are now outfitted with these devices. So this is the new normal. And these headlines, yeah, it's just a tragedy. Everybody is weighing in. R&B star uh, Wycliffe Jean said, this is a shock. Why is it a shock? Why, why is any of this a shock, right? I mean, let's just throw it back out there and say, hey, this, this is a, a normal thing now. Natural causes, seizure, heart attack, cardiac arrest, however you want to call it. And then, you know, natural causes, and it's a shame and it's sad, but we need to just move on and not, not consider what the cause might be. We don't have to worry about that. That's not our business, Dave. That's what I hear all the time. You know, num number one, stay in your lane. Number two, you're not a medical expert. And number three, stop with the conspiracy theorists um, or theories. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, I'm the one pushing back against like this direct energy weapon um, on my other channel, which is called Politically Homeless, which you can check out. I'll have a link here in the description. Had some issues with the channel last week, but it's out there and uh, you can find it. But um, I've got people over there just yelling and screaming, how come you're not on board with this? Because I interviewed somebody who's an expert. They're an expert with the military stuff, and they're an expert when it comes to firefighting. And so their explanation to me made sense, and 
kind of settled it for me. But, you know, we're in the age of constant conspiracy theories about everything. Well, you're the one that started this two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who said maybe we should have informed consent when we're, um, you know, using this super safe and effective product. We should know, for instance, like what's in the product. That would be cool. You get the insert and the insert is blank. Isn't that a little weird? You know, if they were selling stuff at the supermarket, right? And you turned it around, you wanted to look at the ingredients and it was blank. You're like, okay, I don't know what's in this. Should I buy this? It says it's good. It says it's tasty, but I don't know what the ingredients are. Now you would do that uh, when it comes to food, right? You would say, I don't know if I'm going to buy this, right? But when it comes to these safe and effective, wonderful products, it's cool. Everybody needs to just get on board. Don't worry about what's in it. Just trust. Okay, that's bizarre. That's just really, I mean, our society has become so complacent and so lazy. And we're, we're just like, yeah, I'm sure they have our best interests at heart. I used to hear this. I was at the checkout counter a couple years ago. And the woman who's got like three face devices on. All right, I'm being a little facetious. She's got two, though. She's wearing two of them. And she's having this conversation with a coworker who has zero of these devices on their face. And I'm hearing the tail end of the conversation where she says to her, well, why would they tell us to do all this stuff if it didn't work? <laughs> Have we not learned that they don't have our best interests at heart, but some people just trust. They trust because they're lazy and they don't want to think the worst of humanity. They really need to reevaluate that. And as far as the other people who are in the business of creating conspiracy theories 24 hours a day, Dave, you should watch the X-22 report, man. Uh, the white hats are coming any day now. Arrests are coming. If you go to a channel either on youtube or rumble or anywhere and it, and the headline the thumbnail it says something like arrests imminent <laughs> really who are they arresting seems like they're arresting the wrong people doesn't seem like they're arresting the right people but they give you that that shot of hopium you know the dopamine that you need oh yeah uh, the white hats they're gonna they're just gonna fix everything and like I said on the other channel, the revolution isn't going to be fought from the couch. All right. Have you seen the current generation of people? I mean, the only thing that they're going to have in their hand. Well, I could be really disgusting here, but I'm just going to say it's probably going to be a controller. All right. That's all they're going to know how to use. They're not going to they're not going to be able to defend you or themselves or anything. This is the world we live in. I was going to say the new normal. That's part of the new normal. They know. They know nobody's going to do anything. We're going to all talk a good game. We're going to do videos like this one. And we're going to, we're going to use the keyboard. We've got the keyboard warriors out there. And they're going, to, they're going to put their comments on every video. And they're going to think like they accomplished something. They didn't. They didn't. It's just, this is just entertainment. This is an exercise in nothing. This is like Seinfeld, right? Which was a show about nothing, but it had some entertainment value. And so everybody has figured that out, that you can just continue the grifting. Like, okay, uh, what conspiracy theory today? Um, now, you, you may say, hey, you're talking about this guy who, 41 years old, you're, you're doing the same thing. Because this doesn't look like a conspiracy theory. This looks like truth because it keeps happening and nobody seems to care. And when I get upset about it, everybody says, boy, you're fired up. Yeah, because this can be pre pre uh, prevented. Sorry, I'm so fired up, I can't speak English. All right. And there are a number of you out there that agree with me. Um, and I understand that it's difficult to make a dent in this constant gaslight narrative that just doesn't stop. 24 hours a day, um, the CDC, they just go full steam ahead. Hey, you know, the XB-3 
0.862 is the worst variant. And so now we've um, got something that we knew in advance how to develop to combat this particular issue. Does that sound right to you? I mean, you people can't even forecast the weather and they're gonna forecast what's coming down the road, how something is gonna mutate and change. And then they're gonna, again, put out the same platform that they did two years ago in a different formula. I, I, I would be running and I, and I don't have to run because I just avoid. But I mean, if you're thinking about still doing this and still being, you know, that guy who's on the news show telling everybody he's done it six times and they're looking at him like, what? Six times? Why? because they told me to, and I trust the experts. Well, I wouldn't trust the experts at this point. And this is a tragedy and um, it'll be forgotten about. This isn't for most people. When I say, you know, this gentleman's name, they're, they're not gonna be like, okay, he's a household name. But in some quarters, he was a big deal. Michael Benjamin, look it up, look him up. I, I have a hunch that um, once you realize that he had quite a following and um, he was fairly high profile, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is probably happening to regular people who aren't celebrities. This is probably happening every day and you don't know about it because nobody's going to report on it. And plus, they're going to list it like this, natural causes, cardiac arrest, seizure. Nothing to see here. Just move right along. And for those of you who think I jumped the gun on Jimmy Buffett on that first video, um, there's also something else that happens if you already have an issue and you use this product. There is a chance that the problem that you have may be exacerbated. And that's a, a nice word that I'm using, all right? Um, or maybe not. Of course, there's never going to be any research that gets to the general public, although there are research papers out there if you want to go and look for it. I touched on that a little bit again on my other channel, and I will put a link in the description. You can go over there. I'm not sure if I have that video up anymore because of some stuff that happened where uh, videos got taken down and uh, the channel basically had to move to a new location or an old location. Um, very confusing, and you don't have to worry about it. Just know that um, I do political commentary on a channel called Politically Homeless, because that's how I feel. And for those of you looking for higher octane conspiracy theories, I'm not into that. You know, I know I could make lots of money doing that. Um, you know, it's a grift. Same thing with supporting Donald Trump. There's, there's such a group out there that... Um, they they basically know that uh, people are into this, so they're going to make content specifically for that group of people. No matter how insane or how ludicrous things become, they're just going to continue on that path. And so, you know, um, I've been called in my life to to kind of pivot a little bit from just talking about music. This is a musician who died suddenly, so I think it's it's applicable to what I do. And I don't cover every single one of them. I get these things all the time. I have patrons that send me stuff and I go, wow, I wonder what happened to that person. And I'll kind of ignore it. I'll read a little bit further. I'll get to the point where I'm like, this looks really bad. But if I'm always covering this stuff, it just I just don't feel right about it. I would rather talk about, say, the new Rolling Stones song, right? Which is called Angry. You should go listen to it. Um, Eric Clapton on tour right now here in the States. Pretty cool, right? Um, anyway, folks, that's the video. Um, don't forget to check out Modern Retro Radio, modernretrofm.com, a great radio station playing new material by Eric Clapton and the Rolling Stones and Jimmy Buffett. So you should go over there and check that out because um, nobody else is going to play that stuff here in the States. And uh, they are friends of mine good people, um, like-minded as well. So there aren't any um, lunatics over there. And so you can trust that you're supporting 
a decent organization as well if you're listening to them and maybe patronizing some of their sponsors um, because they are an internet radio station. And like me, um, they would like to be a profitable, um, you know, entity. So good for them. And thanks to them for um, supporting me. Everyone else, all I could say is God bless you. Stay safe. Um, and the way you stay safe is uh, you avoid these products. You, you do not, you do what's best for you. And again, you've got the freedom to do what you want to do. I'm not telling you, you know, um, you should be put in jail for suggesting uh, certain things. But um, man, if these people who are passing away mysteriously and suddenly, um, if that could be stopped and avoided, I think we should all uh, shoot for that goal. But apparently, you're not even allowed to talk about this, which is even more bizarre. All right, that's about it. See you soon.